Now, it's the emergency service in the sky, dealing daily with life-threatening injuries. London's Air Ambulance receives 2,000 call-outs a year, and now it wants to expand its service. It says there's enough demand in the capital for another helicopter. London's the only major capital city that has just one, as Asha Baksh reports. The day starts at RAF Northolt. Pilots board London's only air ambulance, and this morning I get to join them. It has to be one of the fastest commutes to work during the capital's busy rush hour. I've got information called Charlie at 7.50 Zulu. I mean, it's 2.55. Well, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, and while it may be rush hour, now there, up here in the helicopter, the old rhythmic through the skies. This can travel 150 miles an hour. We arrive at the Royal London Hospital in East London nine minutes later. While London skies may be busy, this helicopter always gets priority. We're afforded something called Category Alpha Priority, which means we have priority over everything in the airspace. If we went towards Heathrow, they would stop aircraft landing or taking off from Heathrow for the short period of time it takes us to land and then open Heathrow up afterwards. It's like a mobile A&E unit with trauma doctors on board, such as Dr Anne Weaver. But after running for 24 years with just one helicopter, the air ambulance service now wants to expand. Well, what we'd like to do is be able to fly for as many daylight hours as possible. At the moment, even in the summer when it's light until half past nine or ten o'clock at night, we stop at quarter to seven in the evening and we're limited by our pilot numbers and by funding. But the service is primarily run as a charity with only 25% funding from the NHS. It's about affordability. Uh, we need to raise much more through our corporate partnerships, through our community donations, um, and really raise more unrestricted funding to allow us to extend the service to London. So while the air ambulance may dominate the skies of the capital, it's hoped in the future the service will also be able to help more Londoners. Aisha Baksh, BBC London News.